Tis a Wednesday, just past midsummer. Elizabeth Demand, 32 years old, no fixed hours, casual contract, junior lecturer at a university in London, living the dream, her mother says. And she is, if the dream means having no job security and almost everything being too expensive to do and that you're still in the same rented flat you had when you were a student over a decade ago. Has gone to the main post office in the town, nearest the village her mother now lives in, to do check and send with her passport form. Apparently, this service makes things quicker. It means your passport can be issued in half the time if you've gone in with your form filled out and with your old passport and your new photographs and had a certified post office official check it through with you before it goes to the passport office. The post office ticket machine gives her a ticket with number 233 on it for counter service. The place isn't busy, apart from the queue of angry people stretching out the door for the self-service weighing machines, for which there's no ticketing system. But the number she's given is so far ahead of the numbers highlighted on the boards, above everyone's heads as coming up next, 156, 157, 158, and it takes so long anyway for the lone two people behind the 12 counters to serve the people who are presumably numbers 154 and 155. She's been there 20 minutes and they're still the same two customers. That she leaves the post office, crosses the green and goes to the second hand bookshop on Burner Street. When she gets back 10 minutes later, the same two lone people behind the counters are still the only t- people serving. But the screen now says that numbers coming up next for customer service will be 284, 285 and 286. Elizabeth presses the button on the machine and takes another ticket, 365. She sits down on the circular communal seating unit in the middle of the room. Something inside it is broken, so that when she does this something clanks inside its structure and the person sitting along from her is jerked an inch into the air. Then that person shifts position, the seat clanks again and Elizabeth jolts an inch or two downwards. <laughs>